good evening so today with us have dr arpan kumar nayar and he is a well known research scientist and he has published more than 70 international journals and four book and he are very reputedly research scientist and recently in 2022 he published two very reputed review article one is journal of material chemistry a and journal of clean cleaner chemistry so in one year he published two review article and how a new researcher can publish review article in shorter time frame so we like professor we would like to know your experience how we can publish such a beautiful uh, review article in shorter time frame i think this will be very beneficial to all audience especially new researcher so welcome you thank you professor vanubandha uh, so yes uh, um, definitely if we can uh, discuss about how we can uh, how in a short time period uh, uh we can publish uh, so but uh, really i don't have much experience on that uh, so uh, but i will share my experience uh, what exactly we can follow uh, generally i follow uh, so that in a short time period we can able to publish review articles so that i will okay. share uh, so maybe like several uh, lectures if we will discuss about that Uh, then only it will be beneficial it will be beneficial yes, yes. but today we will discuss the basic points basic points a new researchers if they want to start to write a review article then how they can follow that uh, so first of all what i usually tell i usually follow i usually try to first of all download the papers on which area we want to uh, write the review article on that area we try to last five year last five year first of all in the in our computer we in a folder we make it that review article we want to publish in that name we make a folder in that year wise we first make the folders suppose uh, this year we will write 2023 so then 2023 22 21 20 19 uh, five years we just try to try five or three years we can write and that we can make the folders then doctor i have i have one simple question so yes. which search engine usually you follow to get a good article i think that will be very uh, yeah very nice question yeah very nice question very nice question so first of all like we can able to go uh, like the reputed journals first like they can search uh, uh, in nature publications they can find their articles in nature yes i that is also very important to we can go first uh, nature materials or uh, like nature nanotechnology or nature or nature nature physics nature chemistry so first of all you can try to find it but very less paper will find from that platform so from that we can first download the papers then also we can we can go for acs as uh, in acs uh, all journals are uh, definitely good we can able to take any acs you know that is also good but uh, jags or we can able to download the acs nano nano letter in this level that is very good uh, so from acs we can search and we will start to download the papers and then rsc royal society of chemistry from that and also in science direct uh, also we can able to search the papers uh, in that uh, like a google scholar you can search that google scholar if you can search then definitely uh, that we will not uh, we will get uh, like not updately we will get it but if we can able to search by going the uh, scs suppose we want to find the paper in scs if we go to their site directly so then the top to down order will be there so like we know we want from new so then from new order new then 2022 21 like that order all papers will be yes, 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 in yes. similar way in rsc also you can search then uh, in also willy also good journals are so many very good journals are like ego came advanced energy materials or advanced matter in um, science direct some good journals are there uh, like nano energy we can say or uh, we can say materials today or we can say about the um, very good progress in materials science a very good uh, very good articles are there uh, there also so we can go to each site there we can download the papers and also in google scholar if you can also in google scholar later you can go there in google scholar whenever we will find one paper then we have to see that how many citations citations 
are done for that paper. Then again, you have to click yes. the citation. From that, we can able to get the new, new papers. Citation means they cited it in the citation. So new, new papers we can able to. So in this, you can download. And first of all, we download the paper. We read the title. And based on that, we will put it on our folders. That will be the first criteria. We will try to collect at least 300 papers. For a good uh, review article, we can able to at least 300, 200 to 300. First of all, we have to download the all papers. And year wise, we will save in the folder. That should be yes. our the first time. I think last five years, whatever you have already discussed, means whatever uh, the recent work is going on in that field, you uh, that you are going to write a review article, his, yes. he or she should know that what is the recent thing is going on in this field. Yes. yes. So, okay, please. after, so first of all, they download the papers and they will keep in their folders. So, then the next, what they have to do, next on that each year, they have to make subfolders. Subfolder means like writing a paper that is nothing but a story writer. As yes. we know from the story, like a story, uh, when we are writing a story, we need contents. Similarly, also here also we need the contents. So based on the contents, we will make the subfolders. And yes. also we have to always think about that when we, because uh, as you know, as you know, some papers, if we like, uh, like when you have to write a paper, we have to always think that we are writing some story like story means if you read some story what we will find in the story first line when you read then you have interest more what will be the second line what will be like some suspense suspense will be there similarly also you have to write our paper so that it will be attractive and also the uh, the who will be read your paper so they will get also interested what will be the next what will be the next what will be next so in this way also we have to write our also we have to make our story also in that way so if our story we can write nicely and uh, then uh, we can sell it very nicely like if seller if someone selling the some vegetables or potato or that however when he uh, how much attractive way he can call to the customers so people are going, you can see some shop, many people are going there to buy the vegetables or fruits. Some shops will be standing, no one going there for, for buying the things. So this is also exactly the same thing. Here also, the same thing will happen. So how we can sell that one? So that depends on how we can write our story. So first of all, we will collect the papers. That is the first criteria. The second criteria, we will make the subfolders for each folder. Suppose 2022, I downloaded 50 papers. So then in that, the content we need. So for any paper, when we write, so what are the content, basic contents will be there? Contents will be like how, suppose a material scientist. So first of all, they want to know how a material can be synthesized. So means various synthesis methods they used to prepare the materials. So then subfolder means, so then what are the different types of synthesis methods they followed so that they should make the subfolder. So suppose a material can be synthesized in various ways. So when they read the paper, suppose they found that one method they use that is like, a, uh, like we know the top down method, top up method, top down method. Top up. Yes, top yes. up and bottom and top down approach, you know, but they suppose they know that one prepared by chemical bath, chemical bath method. Then they made a folder, chemical bath method or precipitation method. So all the papers, whatever they will. Or also hydrothermal method. Uh, yes. Like hydrothermal. So, yes. So the precipitation method, all papers in the subfolder, they will make, they will keep there. Then second method, hydrothermal method, they found. So then all the hydrothermal method, they put the, on the other folder. Third, suppose they use CBD method, chemical vapor deposition. So yes. Solid state, then fourth, suppose solid state reaction. Five, suppose microwave assisted methods. And then yes. fourth, so four, fifth, so sixth, suppose uh, laser, laser, uh, like uh, pulse laser deposition method. So whatever the physical vapor deposition method, uh, whatever the other other methods, whatever they will find, so they will make the sub electrochemical methods. So they will make subfolders and they will pull the papers. So now one content become ready. So how they can prepare the materials. The next other content will be there on which area they want to write the review paper on which application. First of all, they need the uh, synthesis part preparation of the material. Some of the papers we can able to see that they want to uh, more curious to show that about the properties. 
So then different yes. properties they will show. So if they are interested in properties, so then what will be done for different properties like for structural properties or electrical properties or dielectric properties or magnetic properties. So similarly, they will make soft folders they can put on that papers. That will be not for e one year, for all years they can put the papers. Then they can able to understand on which year how many papers uh, they found for particular these areas. So for synthesis they can repair, for properties they can make. Similarly, application, which application they need. Suppose they need energy storage, then definitely mm -hmm. supercapacitor they can found or uh, or in energy storage they can use battery. So battery and supercapacitor, whatever the paper they got, so, for supercapacitor they make one folder, for battery they can make another folder. Professor, I have one question. That yes. Suppose if anyone want to look at uh, supercapacitor or battery, so what is the specific parameter? As for new researcher, what is the specific parameter they should look at? in that paper like so uh, what yes. is the specific parameter very, they will very nice very nice very nice question uh, so for supercapacitor generally what we uh, what we expect from for the supercapacitor what generally the things uh, generally um, uh, if they are making the device then the most important parameter is energy density so if energy density is very high then that is a very good material so mainly most of the uh, like all are looking for to get high energy density uh, so for so generally supercapacitor there are several types of supercapacitor there two types mainly three types mainly broadly you can divide like EDLCs uh, electrochemical double layer capacitor or C2 capacitors or hybrid capacitors hybrid means both combine combine C2 and and uh, and electrochemical double layer capacitor uh, so uh, the so the parameters if you can see like specific capacitance we have to know the specific capacitance at using current density one ampere program or two ampere program how much specific capacity they object or specific capacitance with respect to scan rate they can observe so specific capacitance plays an important parameters then again in for three electric system specific capacitance mainly plays an important role for two electric system mainly energy density and power density similarly for lithium ion battery also capacity plays an important role also stability also plays an important role you can also mention the stability also how much uh, cycle they do. That uh, yes that yes. stable materials so for super so that so that also we'll discuss uh, one by one for like i'm just uh, we'll just uh, briefly tell uh, about that uh, energy energy generation application they are going for then uh, they can uh, like for hydrogen evolution reaction or oxygen evolution reaction or uh, or like water splitting, photoelectrochemical water splitting. So many energy generation fields also they can also similar way they can branch up and they can put the papers on that area. Similarly for energy conversion, if they are interested, fuel cell applications they can write oxygen reduction reaction. So they can separate out all this and they can put on their folder. Other applications, similarly other applications, whatever the applications they need in gas sensing application or any other whatever application. So application basis also they try to make different different folders. So yes, now awesome. they can able to prepare the uh, like uh, first of all they can make the first folder then on that soft folder they will make it and they will keep the papers. So from that they can understand now how many papers usually they uh, uh, that for each methods how many papers will be there or each properties how many papers they, they got then each application how many papers they got. So then another uh, thing which uh, I try to follow after preparation of this then one of the easiest way we can make the table because to read all this and write all this so it takes very long time it will take very long time we have to expertise on that area particular to uh, we have we need a uh, much experience on that area so rather than that we can make the table of that uh, uh, from that particular folders so we can use from each year wise after we collect we can able to understand that how many papers total we collected so then we can make the table, table for each part so then the uh, thing becomes easier yes, yes. so yes. after we make the after we make the table after we make the table all table we can make it so so once we made the table then it is easier for us to uh, write the paper so these are the basic basic things basic. Uh, we'll yes. also discuss more in part by part yeah uh, yes so yes, it's yes, a very yes. nice talk and and it's nice to hear from experience or young dynamic 
researcher like you and i think our young generation will be excited to they are eagerly waiting for your next talk also how we can modify it much more better so thank you thank you for thank you thank you very much